I'm gonna do a part two video to why I believe low bore axis is a bit of a meme. A couple of different comments and opinions on this came up, so I thought I'd clear it up because I know I was kind of shit posting in the last one, but I'm gonna be serious about this. Number one, 99% of you, and this isn't an insult, do not shoot enough for muzzle flip mitigation to even really make a difference. If you've ever heard the phrase, your gun is more accurate than you, that applies to a lot of people that carry nine millimeter handguns. Two, the physics behind low bore axis and its physics are very real, but it really only helps with tenths of a second for people who run competitions and stuff like that. People who are basically very well trained. Otherwise, if you require, not want, I wanna clear that up. If you want something with a low bore axis, by all means, not bullying you. But if you require one to get the split times that you want, I would reassess your train. It's kind of like saying, well, a steel frame pistol is the only way to go because weight also helps with recoil control. But something like a Glock isn't good to go because it has a polymer frame. It's just kind of, it's kind of nonsense. Also, kudos to this uh, P320 for not exploding.